Hello everyone, hope you are doing well, hope you are reading a good book. I am back with another video and the book that I have with me for today's video is called An Orchestra of Minorities by Chigozi Obioma. It is his second book. It was published in the year 2019 and it was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize Award. It is a modern retelling of Odyssey and it is written in the mythic style of Eco Traditions. I bought this book when I was at the Jaipur Literature Festival last year. Coming to the main plot of this book. It tells the story of Chinonzo who is a young poultry farmer and on his way to work he finds that a young woman is about to end her life so he stops and sacrifices some of his birds and convinces this woman to not end her life and that's how they meet and they both continue talking and they fall in love and when they decide to get married the family of this young woman is opposed to the idea of them getting married because they feel that Chinonzo is not someone who is worthy of marrying their daughter because on the one hand uh, this young woman is pursuing medicine whereas Chinonzo has not even completed his basic school education so they feel that they are not a good fit for each other so to prove his love and to convince this family Chinonzo decides to go to northern Cyprus and get a degree so that he could be worthy of marrying their daughter but when he lands in northern Cyprus something big happens and that's when our book takes a big turn. So that's all that you need to know right now if you're willing to read this book because anything more than that would be a spoiler for you guys and I do not want to ruin this book for you. Uh, coming to the characters of this book, there are three or four characters in this book. There, there are not many characters in this book and I feel that that's something that could have been done better because because you you don't get to listen to the story from different people's point of view uh, so it's something that i i did not enjoy and i i I'm, i also have a little bit of problem with the length of this book i feel that this book could have been 100 or 150 pages short and it wouldn't have made any difference uh, so that's that's all that I did not enjoy about this book coming to the parts that I enjoyed about this book uh, first one would be the writing style of this book because the writer uses a lot of references to the Igbo culture and believe me if you are interested in Igbo culture this is the book that you should pick because because of the writing only because you fall in love with the culture uh, the book is narrated by something called chi c h i chi chi is something that's not our soul but something that is more than our soul in igbo tradition so if you guys are interested into learning more about chi i will put down a link in the description box and you guys can go and learn more about chi i'm sure that you guys will love that uh, i gave this book three stars and if you are someone who is just started reading I would not suggest this book because then you guys will get confused and will surely put this book down and I don't want that to happen however if you are if you are someone who has been reading for a lo for a long time I think this book will be the one for you because it it is a slow burn book uh, things do not happen every now and then but when they happen they blow your mind uh, that was all from my side if you guys have read this book let me know in the comment section and what what are you reading right now just comment down and share this video with your friends and if you are new to this channel do consider subscribing that's all thank you